Sitting on a gate. The first one said, Bye, it's getting late. My, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. There are witches in the air. The first one said, Good folk beware. Good folk beware. The first one said, Run and run. Third one said, Well, run and run. The first have some fun. Let's have some fun. Five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. The end. Good job. Hey guys, so I just finished up my 38 week doctor's appointment and so I wanted to just tell you guys how it went. It actually went really fast. <laughs> I think it was like 10 minutes, I don't even know. Um, I checked in, they took my temperature and they didn't tell me what it was but obviously it was normal because they didn't kick me out. And I went and left a urine sample and then they got my weight which I've gained, I think I'm at 28 pounds now that I've gained, 28 or 29. I weighed myself the other day. So I'm at a good weight. They took my blood pressure, which I was kind of nervous about because I felt like my heart was kind of racing and I had like driven through like a crazy rainstorm and ran through the rain. So I felt like my heart was gonna be um, fast, but actually it was awesome. Again, it was like 110 over 67 or something I don't know it was really 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 good so I was super pumped about that they took me into my room they told me to get undressed but last week my doctor told me I didn't need to because I was so not even close to I wasn't even dilated so she was like there's no point in you even getting undressed so I didn't and my doctor came in and um, we measured my belly and I'm measuring on track so that's good. And then she found baby's heartbeat and he is met, his heartbeat was like 156, 157. So it was all in good range. And basically we just talked about next week and how next week's gonna be like kind of the deciding factor on where we go from there. Um, so she's gonna check me next week. If I'm still like not even dilated, then I'll probably do another appointment. She said if I'm like, a two or a three then we could just have me go into the hospital at like 40 weeks and then just like deliver then so it'll just kind of depend on like how my body is next week and then we'll go from there so it's really exciting um i've been in pain i mean my back's been hurting my rib area has been hurting my body's been stretching i mean i'm over it but i don't want to force baby out if he's not ready and if my body's not ready and my doctor agrees with that um but she's like if you're ready and feeling you know and dilating at least a little bit then we should just induce which i agree so we'll just see how my body is next week and that'll just kind of be the deciding factor i did ask her if i was gonna have to get tested for coronavirus and she said yes i would womp womp i figured but i just didn't know um, so basically she said if I'm induced um, then I can get like go to a drive-in drive up place and just get a throat swab but if I show up to the hospital like in the middle of the night or whatever in labor then they will give me a rapid test right then and there and it's a nose swab so <laughs> 
Hopefully I'm induced so that I can do the throat because the throat doesn't sound as bad as the nose. And of course, Anthony does not have to get tested. I mean, it makes sense. If I was negative, he'd be negative. If I was positive, he'd be positive because we're like living together and around each other all the time, especially with him working from home. So luckily for him, he doesn't have to get tested. He doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to give birth. I have to do everything, but it's fine. Um, but she said the hospital's really good that, you know, taking the test, if you test negative, then you really don't have to wear a mask, which, I mean, obviously makes sense. If I'm testing negative, then why would I have to wear a mask, you know? The whole reason to wear a mask is you have to assume that you're positive, so you possibly don't give your stuff. So anyway, it was a good appointment, and I am about to go back home. My brother's babysitting Gray, so that's all for now. See you guys later. Grayson has gotten so much better at mowing with his little toy lawn mower. Anthony mowed the lawn this weekend and Grayson was helping. I got some clips of it so I will insert those here. loud for him but he is loving this little toy lawnmower he used to not care about it at all and not really want anything to do with it and now he's like totally into it I think it's because he can actually like figure out how to push it and now that the grass is shorter it's much easier for him to push it and <laughs> this just keeps him busy it's like 90 degrees outside you guys it's so hot But Grayson doesn't care. He wants to be outside. And he always has his hat on sideways. He is the cutest. I meant to add earlier while I was in the car that I scheduled my next appointment for next week. And um, like I was saying earlier, this will be like the a big appointment and we'll just kind of go from there either I'll be starting to dilate and we can schedule an induction or I won't have dilated at all and we'll have to wait another week so it's all on next week and it's just crazy that we're getting to the end but I'm excited for it what did you find you found a stick that's a big stick yeah, big stick. You need help? Do you want to get in your swing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 